What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael and today I am going to show you how to transfer Pokemon from Generation 3 to Generation 4. So I'm going to show you how to take Pokemon from Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green and transfer them to either Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl, or Pokemon Platinum. Alright, so the first thing that you guys need to do is in your Gen 4 games, you need to make sure that you beat the Elite Four and obtain the National Pokedex. So once you do that, you'll be able to access this park up here that you see above my head. So I'm going to quickly show you the location at which you can find it. So you're looking for right here, you want to go to Sangam Town, go south, and then all the way east until you hit this location. So then you'll be able to access the Pal Park, which is here. And you'll get to the counter, and then you will talk to this gentleman here to access the park. All right, so very quickly, I'm going to show you what you need to do on your Gen 3 games to make sure this is all possible. All right, we're back. So you need to make sure that you have a Nintendo DS Lite. You need to insert the game pack at which you're choosing, so I'm choosing Emerald, into the bottom of the game pack. And then you need to go ahead and click your Pokemon Diamond game. And then we'll place this back down to show you guys the home screen again. So a few things to remember, you need to make sure you have six Pokemon in your PC box. So take all the Pokemon that you want out of your Gen 3 games and put them inside the PC box. I'll pause the video until you catch up. So once all the Pokemon that you want to transfer are inside the PC box, then you're going to see this new menu open up down here. This is Migrate from Emerald, or say Migrate from Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby, Fire Red, Leaf Green, etc. So you click that and then you open up this screen down here will show up it says uh, Pokemon migrate from Phantoms Emerald game pack yes okay it cannot be returned obviously so we're gonna do that six Pokemon will migrate all right so now we have our boxes you can see all of our boxes down here all the Pokemon that are inside your box I think I only got one box on this new start of Emerald that I have and then you take your cursor, or your stylus, as they were called back in my day. Uh huh. You click your Pokemon. We'll go Electrike. We'll go Matike. We'll go Poochina. We'll go Cascoon. We'll go Whismur. Uh, we'll go. We got one more. We'll go. Uh, we'll go Nikata. Why not? And then there we go. Six Pokemon migrate. Yes. Yes. So now we have to wait while it saves the data as these six Pokemon are migrated, which they will never return back into your other game. You go right here, and mind you, once again, this works with all of the five Gen 3 games on the Game Boy Advance. So we'll open back up our Pokemon Diamond, and we're right here, back in here. We're going to talk to this gentleman right here. Hi there, Michael. Did you come to participate in the catching show? We're going to enter it. All right, so we get six park balls to catch the six Pokemon that we were given. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. We're going to enter in here, and then now we're just going to go hunt down the Pokemon. So a couple things to make sure. If you don't catch all six, you don't get any of them, uh, meaning that if you um, – some things that you have to remember. If you have a flying-type Pokemon – um, if you have a Pokemon that is based out of the water, like a Magic Carp that you've seen earlier, um, a you know a Tentacruel, anything that would belong in the water, you need to make sure that you have a Surfer for. Uh, you might have to fish for some Pokemon, but all six of the Pokemon will be in here. So I recommend that you make sure that you have the fishing rods and you have a Surfing Pokemon to ensure that you catch all six. Um, every Pokeball that you throw will not fail, so you're not going to miss a Pokemon by it breaking out of a Pokeball. Um, but you just need to make sure the the one thing that you need to absolutely make sure is that you have a surfing Pokemon, and I would also just be sure that you have all three of your fishing rods. So, other than that, though, guys, that is really how you do it. Um, after you catch all the Pokemon, it's pretty much self-explanatory. They transfer all six Pokemon into your box, and you'll have them. So, that is how I transfer Pokemon whenever I'm doing a uh, let's play or a region run or etc. And um, that's just really fun and how you can take your old school Pokemon all the way up to Sword and Shield. I have quite a few Pokemon right now that I've literally had since I had Generation 3 and have transferred them all the way to Sword and Shield. So yeah, 
Um, I hope you guys can take your Pokemon along with the journey. Uh, let them come with you. Let them, uh, you know, experience the uh, new 3D games that they have out. So that is how you do it, guys. But with that, everybody, I've been the Phantom Michael. I think I'm going to get the heck out of here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.